We've got a serious arrest here. We've got militia. This is militia that's going on right now. They are attacked. As you can see, they have drawn. Their weapons are drawn. We saw two 
uh, ATV, like four wheeler vehicles driving over the the hill over this way. Okay. And for reference, that's the opposite side of where the police are. They're actually over that way. Things I definitely saw were I definitely saw two um, uh, ATVs. You could only see their eyes, and when they jumped out of the vehicle, they had their weapons drawn and they were pointing it at people. All of a sudden, there's two all-terrain vehicles come up full of army guys in full gear. They had guns, and they come tackle those guys. They just knelt down on one knee, pulled out a gun at us, and another one jumped out, pulled out his gun, and a third one jumps out. And then they just threw, threw all the guys in the all-terrain vehicles. And then, you know, to have those guns pointed right at us, and all we were doing was prayers and putting up our teepees and... We did everything they asked us to do right, and that's what happened. Well, whenever it, all the chaos was happening, uh, we were just barely waking up, and they they radioed in and said that they needed horse riders up up to the um, bridge uh, where the, on the gravel road because they needed um, security there to keep people safe. We seen those ATVs coming up on us, and then we tried running after those three other people. But the, by the time we got not even a quarter of a way there, those ATVs started pulling up on us and started like trying to bump us and stuff like that. And so we just took off up the hill a little bit, and we curved down. And then uh, they just they were just yelling, "Get the f off them horses! Get the f off them horses!" That's all they kept repeating. And um. We got we got chased down by them. They're using like explosions. Explosions kept coming behind us, and boom, boom, boom. Then they started shooting their bean bags and rubber bullets at us. And then they those that those security workers they cut the fences, and like they put them some certain way. And then whenever we tried running towards like a down fence, they pushed us towards the left, and we ran like like right alongside of a fence that was like on the right side of us and they kept pushing us in towards the fence mm -hmm. and um, they are trying to get us caught I, I looked down and my horse was all tangled up in the fence I didn't want to, I didn't want to hurt him I, 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 didn't, I, wanted, I didn't want him to get hurt anymore yeah. so I stopped and um, when I looked down again before I yelled at him he was free and it didn't look like nothing too bad so I turned him around, I turned him to the right and he started, he started trotting off all normal, and then whenever you seen that other horse running, like full out sprint, he just darted off. And right whenever he darted off, I looked to my left and I seen two horse, two of our people were arrested already. And I seen one guy started running down the hill towards the towards towards me, and I seen him drop to his knee. And then I thought I was first thought I thought I was gonna get hit by a rubber bullet, so I hung on to the saddle horn so I wouldn't fall off. And Right, right whenever I did that, I heard like something like zip right past me, like right behind me. Then uh, we kept running. We used ravines to get out, to keep like to um to uh, give us breathing room. Mm -hmm. But whenever like at the end of after we got away, uh, I re I then realized that it wasn't it wasn't a rubber bullet that was fired at me. It was a live round. Oh yeah. I know what live rounds sound like because I shoot I shoot guns and but I haven't gotten a bullet shot at me before. So what we're going to witness here is is that these these uh, buffalo were being chased by ATVs, the Humvees, the helicopter, and then in a few in a in a few seconds you're going to see a plane buzz right over the top of the buffalo, and uh, clearly see that there was no horse riders behind them or around them at all. All the attention of the uh, DAPL security connection with the the National Guard and then the uh, Warren County Police Department were all in conjunction. There goes the plane right there. 
So this is this is video that's coming in, and a lot of our journalists don't want to be named because they don't want to be charged with any kind of charges. But if you can see that flash, the the plane was also sending out flashes. So uh, we want to just say that with with that relatives that you know when we witness when we witness what's going on, they were shooting. You see the flash come out of that plane like a concussion grenade or something like that that they were showing throwing at the relatives, the buffalo there. And, you know, we're very lucky that no one was killed. The way they were reckless, the way we witnessed on a video, uh, I think Unicorn Riot also was getting really exclusive video on there with um, many other people and journalists and filmmakers, and they were also targeting people that they were pointing at and, and pulling them out. We don't need I, 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 I,